Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about uh, positive and negative RNA uh, virus strands or we also may call them plus and minus. And as you know all the viruses can be of two kinds with uh, they may have nucleic acid which is RNA or DNA. And if virus has uh, RNA as nucleic acid then in this case um, it can be uh, single-stranded or double-stranded. So double-stranded RNA or single-stranded RNA. And single-stranded RNA uh, can be also of two kinds. Whether this single strand can be plus or minus, positive or negative. So, uh, before I will explain uh, what is the difference and what is the significance, I want to show uh, analogy with um, transcription of the double-stranded DNA. So, it would be much easier for you to understand the uh, difference between positive and negative RNA strands. And now imagine that here is a double-stranded DNA. So here is one strand, here is another strand of the DNA. And here we see replication bubble and here we see messenger RNA that is uh, transcribed from um, one of the strands of the DNA which we call template strand of the DNA. So template And uh, another strand of the DNA would be non-template. And uh, as you see, messenger RNA would be complementary to the template strand of the DNA. For example, if here we are going to have on the template strand of the DNA, for example, A, T, C and G, here on the messenger RNA we would have um, adenine with base pair with uracil, zymine with base pair with adenine, cytosine with guanine, and uh, guanine with cytosine. And on the non-template strand of the DNA we would see uh, zymine here and uh, adenine here, guanine and cytosine. So as you see uh, this strand of the DNA has uh, the same sequence as we have here with only one exception that uh, in messenger RNA zymine would be substituted with uracil but uh, the sequence is going to be the same and also we would have here five prime end of the messenger RNA and 3 prime end here. Messenger RNA grows continuously and continuous growth always go from 5 prime end to the 3 prime end. And coding strand of the DNA, uh, this is non-template strand, we also call this uh, coding strand because this strand as you see has the same uh, 5 prime end here, 3 prime end here just like in messenger RNA and has the same sequence. So we also call this non-template strand of the DNA coding strand of the DNA. So coding strand of the DNA and template strand of the DNA we also can call uh, non-coding So uh, another way how we can call these two strands uh, would be uh, positive. So positive would be um, non-template or coding strand of the DNA and negative would be uh, template or non-coding strand of the DNA. If we consider that um, this is going to be a prokaryotic cell then uh, even before transcription would end, uh, messenger RNA can be 
translated. So we may expect that here to the five prime end where shine Delgarna sequence uh, ribosome would attach and would start making protein chain. And ribosome also would um, move from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. Now it would be much easier for you to understand positive and negative uh, strands of the RNA virus. So virus can have ways a uh, positive or negative strand uh, and uh, also can be uh, double stranded. So one strand would be positive, another negative, just like coding and non-coding or template and non-template strands of the DNA. But if virus is single-stranded, uh, what we may get? If single-stranded RNA would be positive or plus strand, this is going to be the same, just what we see here. So here we are going to get uh, 5 prime end, 3 prime end here, and such strand would be absolutely the same uh, and would be recognized by the cellular uh, replication mechanism, uh, transcription mechanism, just like normal messenger RNA. And right away, uh, ribosome would be attached here and protein would be produced. Now let's take a look what would happen if uh, strand of the RNA would be negative. In this case uh, this is going to be the same as complementary strand of the uh, DNA which is uh, template non-coding which is uh, complementary to the messenger RNA. So such single-stranded RNA cannot be translated into the protein. First, uh, second strand uh, RNA have to be built and second strand can be built if uh, this virus, not if, but this virus have to have in this case RNA dependent RNA uh, polymerase so RT, RP. So this enzyme have to be brought into the cell uh, with a virus because uh, cells do not have such enzyme. None of the cells, neither of the prokaryotes or uh, eukaryotes or archaea doesn't need this enzyme. Only viruses need this enzyme in order to build uh, positive strand of the RNA from the negative strand of the RNA. Once again, a negative strand of the DNA would work like a template strand of the DNA. And this positive strand of the RNA would be the same as a messenger RNA. So this is going to be a positive strand which would be the same as messenger RNA. So we would have here uh, 5 prime end and 3 prime end and we would have on the negative strand of the 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. And this is going to be negative strand. So negative strand of the messenger RNA or uh, minus strand would be the same as um, template strand and this would be the same as messenger RNA and ribosome of the host cell would attach to this 5 prime end and would move to the 3 prime end of this uh, single stranded RNA which is going to be the same as messenger RNA and would produce protein chain. Now, as you see, according to this logic, um, those uh, viruses that uh, is um, single-stranded RNA viruses and which has uh, positive or 
plus trend would be um, translated much faster than those that has negative uh, strand because of the extra steps would be needed here and also virus have to bring its own uh, enzyme that would allow to build positive strand of the RNA. So now I hope you would understand better uh, the difference between single stranded RNA which has a positive or plus strand and negative strand and also I think now you would better understand naming of the different strands of the double stranded DNA because um, as you see there are many different names sometimes it can be confusing which strand have which name now let's return to list of answers let's start with the end of this list uh, it is not recognized by the host ribosomes once again a positive strand of the RNA virus is not recognized by the host ribosomes and this is not true as you see it is recognized as just a messenger RNA answer C will be degraded by host enzymes positive strand and actually sometimes uh, it can be degraded if uh, bacteria would recognize this as a virus sequence but in many cases uh, bacteria wouldn't be able to recognize it and would just recognize just like any other messenger RNA and would start making uh, proteins that would be viral proteins answer B can be used directly to translate viral proteins and uh, this is true as you see from my explanation this is exactly what happens with positive strength of the uh, single stranded RNA virus and answer A must first be converted to messenger RNA before it can be translated and this is exactly description of the negative uh, RNA virus with a single negative strand or minus strand so this is wrong answer and as you see the correct answer would be answer B and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video Goodbye.